Welcome back. So about a week ago, uh, Zach Parisi hits 400 goals. And I said, yeah, 400 goal video, that's a big milestone. We'll do a video on that. And now here I am with the time to get this video put together. Do this video up for all you fine people on a Monday. And he's been gracious enough not to score another goal since then. So maybe he gets 401 tonight. But uh, he's at 400 as of right now. And Zach Parisi's been a topic of conversation since he was drafted, 17th overall in 2003. Now, the 2003 draft is stacked, but still, Parisi drafted later than he should have been, in part because he's 5'11", 193 pounds. Being below six foot means there's a general manager somewhere that'll say, nah, nah, pass. We're good, pass. It's fine. Now nah, we're not going to draft him. So for Parisi, he's, he's made a career out of proving people wrong. And uh, it starts with his rookie year in the NHL 0506, which is after the lockout, right? The lockout took out the 0405 season. He debuts in 0506. That was a stacked rookie class. So he plays 81 games that year for the Devils, 14 goals, 18 assists, 32 points. In the playoffs, he adds nine games, one goal, two assists. Uh, New Jersey still pretty good at this point, although uh, their final Stanley Cup was in 03. Uh, 06, 07, he plays 82 games, 31 goals, 31 assists for 62 points. So that's his first 30 goal season. He would have a number of 30 goal seasons. Uh, in the playoffs, 11 games played, 7 goals, 3 assists for 10 points. 2007, 2008, very remarkably similar season. 81 games, 32 goals, 33 assists for 65 points. In the playoffs, 5 games, 1 goal, 4 assists, 5 points. And then he has his career year. And this is the big one. This is the, and, and players will have these career years, and sometimes it's early on, sometimes it's later. But what's interesting is it's that fourth year. And that fourth year can give you this, this tremendous breakthrough. Sometimes players keep it up, sometimes they don't. In Parisi's case, uh, it was a career year. 82 games, 45 goals, which was third in the NHL that year. 49 assists, 94 points, which was fifth overall. So he is top 10 in scoring in the playoffs, seven games, three goals, three assists, six points. So the playoffs, that's a disappointment, not him. He's not the disappointment, but the fact that New Jersey doesn't go far in the playoffs is a disappointment. But yeah, Parisi, he's a star now. Second team all-star in the NHL at the end of the year. He was fifth in heart voting, and he played in his one and only all-star game that year. 2009-2010, the question, of course, of could he follow it up? He kind of does, 81 games. 38 goals, which is ninth overall, 44 assists for 82 points. So it's a drop of 12 points, but still, right? He's still, he's playing well. Uh, five games played in the playoffs, one goal, three assists, four, four points. But what happens the following season is it's a dramatically shortened year for him due to injury. He only plays 13 games, three goals, three assists, six points in 2010, 2011, misses 65 games due to a knee injury. And after that, he doesn't get back to a point per game. Still very good uh, totals, though. 2011-2012, he does play every game. 82 games, 31 goals, 38 assists for 69 points. And then in the playoffs, New Jersey goes on a run. They go all the way to the Stanley Cup Final. He is the second team captain to go to a Stanley Cup Final for New Jersey. The previous Stanley Cup Finals had always been Scott Stevens. This time it's him. He was named team captain on October 5th of 2011. So they go to the finals, he has 24 games, 8 goals, 7 assists, 15 points. Absolutely magical, fantastic run. And immediately at the end of it, things start to fall apart. Uh, and, and he ends up going somewhere else. He wants a lot of money and a lot of term in New Jersey. Just, it's not going. So he ends up signing July 4th of 2012 with the Minnesota Wild, along with Ryan Suter. The Minnesota Wild made a very public display of these guys are the face of the future of this franchise they're the stars they're the guys and in Parisi's case it was a pretty easy sell because JP Parisi played for the Minnesota North Stars Zach Parisi being an American player it's a very easy sell in in Minnesota and so you know Zach Parisi felt like he was going home he signs a 13 year 98 million dollar deal with the Minnesota Wild at the same time as Ryan Suter signs the same. So that is $196 million over 13 years being promised to Suter and Parisi. And those contracts were seen as kind of buyout proof at the time they were signed. But it's not a big deal because Parisi isn't even a decade into his career yet. And this just means he's going to retire as a Minnesota Wild player. And that's how it was seen. The Minnesota, a team that has been... 
uh, mired in mediocrity and, and not quite being good enough that by bringing in Suter, that top defenseman, bringing in Parisi, a premier level forward, they are finally committing to, uh, you know, making this this work and they're finally committing to winning. And so that's how it was presented at the time. I remember the press conference well. So he plays 48 games that first year in Minnesota, 18 goals, 20 assists, 38 points. And in the playoffs, just the one goal in five games. It doesn't go the way that I think either Minnesota or Parisi wanted it to that first year. 2013-2014, uh, he only plays 67 games that year, but he gets 29 goals, 27 assists for 56 points. Uh, in the playoffs, 13 games, 4 goals, 10 assists, 14 points. Year 2 is much better than the lockout short in year 1 that he had there. So, pretty good totals. And then in 2014-2015, he has a good year. 74 games, 33 goals, which was 10th in the NHL. Uh, 29 assists, 62 points. This is the last time he scored 30 goals in the NHL. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's not going to hit 30 this year. It's possible. It's possible he could. Prove me wrong, Zach. But I, I think that's probably his last 30-goal season. In the playoffs, 10 games, 4 goals, 6 assists, 10 points. So, this is where the conversation can start about... So, Minnesota puts all this money into Parisi and Suter, but are they a team that's going to win a championship? Not, they don't appear to be. So the question could be asked about how much money goes to these guys and, and you know, do these contracts look like they're going to age well. 2015-2016, he plays 70 games, 25 goals, 28 assists, 53 points. Struggles with injuries uh, that year as well. Um, just the 70 games, misses 12. He misses 13 games in 2016-2017, 19 goals, 23 assists, 42 points. In the playoffs, 5 games, 2 goals, 1 assist. So again, you know, he's below the 20 goal mark over a full season for the first time since his rookie year. Questions can get asked, but again, 69 games, so if he played the other 13, he would have reached 20 goals. 2017-2018, uh, he misses 39 games due to back surgery. So 42 games played, 15 goals, 9 assists for 24 points. In the playoffs, he does get three goals in three games. So in the playoffs, he shows, yeah, I had my back surgery, but I'm good and I'm back. And in 2018-2019, he gets back to scoring the way that we know he can. 74 games, 28 goals, 33 assists, 61 points. But Minnesota still, we're dealing with this, are they good enough? And uh, questions being asked and some management upheaval is coming. 2019-2020. 69 games, 25 goals, 21 assists, 46 points. And in the playoffs, four games and just the three assists. Again, they, they lose in the qualifying round that year against Vancouver. Uh, they, they won the first game. They lose the next three in spectacular style. And we go to 2020-2021 with, again, the questions being asked. 45 games out of 56 played by Parisi. Seven goals, 11 assists, 18 points. And it was a very uncomfortable season for him you could tell the plan was to move on uh in the playoffs he plays four games has two goals one assist three points he can still produce at times right but minnesota they're they're kind of done and they're kind of done with Suter as well so uh bill Guerin makes a decision that still boggles my mind to this day that doesn't save them anything under the cap next season so next season the minnesota wild for 2022 2023 have a lot of dead cap money. And it's because they buy out Zach Parisi. They buy out Ryan Suter as well, but they buy out Zach Parisi July 13th. They buy out the last four years of his contract. So that penalty then extends over eight years. Um, and and there's there's talk about how, you know, he just, he wanted to change the, the, the locker room up and he wanted to change some of the culture around the team. So for Parisi, it's, it's kind of an unceremonious ending to what had started with so much optimism and the sharp red jerseys too and you know everything looked like it was it was finally going to turn in favor of the minnesota wild and it didn't so he ends up signing september 10th of 2021 with the new york islanders lou lamorello who remembers him from new jersey uh signs him as an unrestricted free agent and in in new york it hasn't worked out as well as i think he expected 52 games seven goals 16 assists 23 points so the goal scoring has really fallen off. That's 97 games over his last two years and 14 goals for that. Uh, and, and really the question mark becomes one of, so is this his final year? And I, I don't know the answer. I think he might try to keep, keep going for another year. He's played 1,112 games at this point. 
He has 400 goals exactly, so again, I'd like to thank him for not scoring another goal since that 400, so this video can be titled thusly. Uh, 433 assists for 833 points. In the playoffs, 105 games, 37 goals, 43 assists, 80 points. He did win silver for the USA at the Olympics in 2010. He won World Junior Championship gold with the U.S. in 2004. And the under-18 team, he wins gold in 2002. So he's had some success on international stages. And his father, J.P. Parisi, played for Team Canada at the Summit Series. But again, J.P. Parisi playing in the States. Uh, his son's born in the States, American citizens. So Zach Parisi plays for Team USA. And uh, it's been a nice long career for him. And again, he had a number of 30-goal seasons, number of 20-goal seasons, probably his last 20-goal season in 2019-2020, likely doesn't get back to that. But yeah, so I, I do wonder if it's his last season. Could very well be. Very good, well-established career. Uh, he's a player I could see him at some point being a head coach in the NHL. Um, with the amount of time he's played, maybe a general manager's job. And again, being American, playing for these teams... It's possible at some point he comes back to the Minnesota Wild uh, to run things behind the bench. Maybe he does it with New Jersey. We shall see. But there you go. Let me know, you guys, uh, what you think about Zach Parise. Uh, I, I don't see him. I, I'll throw this in because I know it gets asked a lot with players that play this long. I don't see him as a Hall of Famer, uh, but a very, very good player for a long time. And uh, he did have the Stanley Cup final run with New Jersey in 2012. And I think signing with the New York Islanders, based on them being a Final Four team the previous two seasons, I think he was expecting a playoff run this year. Sadly, the Islanders sitting too far below the playoff line for us to really realistically uh, see them as being in contention for a run at the playoffs. But uh, Parisi may have some gas left in the tank for next year. But let me know what you guys think. Does he play next year? Does he not? And uh, how do you feel about uh, that contract being bought out by Minnesota? Again, it feels like it really cripples them next year. And then beyond that, it's not as bad, but still, it's it's a it's a confusing uh, buyout, and that's why it was seen as buyout proof because since there's so much money tied up with with bonuses, you can't buy out the bonuses. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.